guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is ella and today i'm gonna be basically trying a bunch of different recipes from tiktok they're not really big recipes but just like little small recipes i can fit into this video um there might be a part two for the ones i can't fit into this video but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing and i saved a bunch to my camera roll just because i've been feeling like tiktok has way more recipes than they used to and a bunch of good ones to try we're gonna first eat breakfast though since it is 10 40 so i guess i'll see you guys when i try the first recipe i just wanted to give an update on the guinea pigs um because if you saw my previous video you would know they got into like a fight two times and i had to divide them like two different times and then winston got a little cut on his lip that all healed and i showed you guys that in that video they're doing fine they do get like that though when they get close to each other the thing i just wanted to say quick um is my hair it does look a bit greasy right now um that's because i just used these new oils i got it's like the um briogeo something briogeo brand yeah and i put their oil in but i put a little too much and so it made my hair shiny but also a bit too oily um so hopefully by tomorrow this will be all absorbed in my hair so guys finally i'm making the first um tiktok recipe so on the side that's the video it's called popcorn bread and basically you slice up one piece of bread and then you boil sugar and also put a little bit of water in the sugar um and you boil it at like medium also the recipe was in the comments on the tiktok so that's how i know but anyways you do that and then you put all of your bread in it and then you like just take it out and wait five minutes and it should harden also by the way i'm just cutting two pieces of bread i only showed cutting one but i cut two there um and then next i took the one fourth cup of sugar and that's how much you need and i dumped that then in the pan um and then i'm pretty sure i used one tablespoon of water and just did like two of them um there i was just getting a clump out of like the sugar um because there was some clumps in it for some reason also here i'm using cane sugar i'm pretty sure you can use like any type like granulated white sugar um or like any type of sugar would work i'm pretty sure she didn't really mention that um but next i just take the one tablespoon and i did two like um too full of water and dumped it right into the pan and it wasn't really boiling right away since the pan or heat i did have it on like low and then i turned it to medium um and then i just started mixing the sugar and water together um until it kind of started boiling and then i dumped the two pieces of bread cut up in there and i feel like it didn't it absorbed it right away i wasn't expecting that um so i feel like one piece of bread would be good um or either just like make a bigger batch but i feel like it wasn't enough then once i was done mixing it and it all like kind of absorbed i put it on a plate and let them cool in the fridge for about five minutes and then i took them out and now it's time to try them so you can see i have two plates that's because the second time i did it yes i did it a second time um because the second time i only did one piece of toast just so i can try it both ways um but you can see it's not really crunchy and the same was with the other one it was also like mushy and so there's not really any difference i do think it would turn out for me if like i browned the sugar and water more and let it sit more but i was just, like i don't know it was bubbling and i didn't want it to burn but yeah this is kind of it works for some people, but did not work for me. Okay, guys, so now me and my sister um, are both going to be making the, like, chocolate chip recipe. And we have all the ingredients down here. And, yeah, nothing can really go wrong with this um, recipe from TikTok because it's just cookie dough. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it will taste good. And so let's get started. Also, by the way, some parts I might do a voiceover. Uh, but parts like this all like talk okay so first we got a cup of um flour and we heat treated it or whatever and got the bacteria off by microwaving it for um a minute and a half we added 30 after um and then we microwaved like butter 
for just to get it softened not melted and we put a whole stick of butter in the blue bowl we had to take the flour um out so it's just the butter in there um and then we combined one one half cup of brown sugar with the softened butter okay and then after the brown sugar i we added um three tablespoons in total of cane sugar and then i'm pretty sure white sugar or either like granulated sugar would turn out the best um because it was a bit chunky after but anyways then after we did sugar we just mixed it with the um electric beater next we did vanilla and i'm pretty sure this was one teaspoon or yeah one teaspoon of vanilla and then we did one half teaspoon of salt then before we mixed it again we added the flour that we heated up um, and then after we added all those things, we mixed it again with the electric beater. Then we added um, one and a half tablespoons of milk and mixed that. Also, we did unsweetened almond milk because that's what we had. Um, but I recommend unsweetened if you have almond milk only. And then we added the main thing, which was chocolate chips. Then um, lastly, we stored it in a container. Okay, so this is the let's taste test. It doesn't look as like brown or soft as hers, but it's like a little bit of chunks in it, so. It's good. It's probably the best one. Okay, so finally I'm doing the last and the third TikTok food recipe. Um, so this one's only like two ingredients. And also I was doing this at 10 o'clock, so that's why the lighting's so bad. And I'm also in my pajamas. But anyways, for this one, she takes a pan. I'm just going to use a paper plate because I don't think it matters. Because um, either way, there's going to be parchment paper um, so it won't stick. And then basically, you just take yogurt and you, like, cover it. Um, and I'm pretty sure you want it, like, pretty thick or, like, you know. Um, and then you add a topping, which she did granola, which I'm going to add, like, a lot since I like granola. And then basically, you also, like, put it in the freezer then which since it was already 10 o'clock and i was going to leave it for two hours um i ended up doing it like overnight instead and so yeah but that's what my yogurt looked like and now i'm going to be adding the granola and if i could get this open there okay um but yeah i just took like a big handful a bunch of times and just sprinkled it all over so i got an even layer Okay, so now this is what it looks like. I didn't do that much, but um, now this clip is from the next day. It's like rock solid. And then she just like um, pulls it off the parchment paper and it was actually easier than I expected it to be, but I guess it's just yogurt and it really didn't stick at all. Um, and then here, I'm just breaking it up into, like, little chunks. I'm pretty sure you can just even, like, bite it off of the whole thing, you know, and not break it apart. Um, but I just did this either way. Okay, sorry for my voice. I haven't talked all morning. Um, but I'm gonna try them now. This is what the whole plate looks like here. It basically looks like this. I just, like, broke the pieces up, and I put a lot of granola since I like granola. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could have done, like, chocolate chips or strawberry or blueberry. I'm pretty sure you can do, like, strawberry toppings or just, I mean, it's yogurt. You can literally freeze, like, anything on this. And so let's try it. It's kind of melting in my hand. Shoot. I dropped granola. Okay. This is really good. It kind of just tastes like a yogurt buffet, but it's like yogurt bark. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I have this one a 10 out of 10. It's really good. And also, you were like only supposed to freeze this for like a couple hours, like four hours the most. Um, but I was gonna do like two hours, but by the voiceover, um, you guys already know I put them in like at 10. And so I wasn't still up at like 12 o'clock. And so I just took them out this morning. And 
Yeah. So really, you just need to freeze them until they're like really frozen and like. You guys, that is all for today's video. I don't know. I only did three, um, but that's like all I felt like doing. Um, this was already like a ton just to make. Like I made the first two in one day, and then this um, I made the second day but i had to freeze it and all that so yeah let me know though if you do want a part two this will probably be part one just in case you guys want a part two because i'm not really sure yet um but i do have a couple more things to try so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure to like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys next week bye